Welcome back. There is still more stew to be served. A man accused Richard Mofe Damijo of killing Nollywood. I'm sure you are thinking how, with what weapon and when. Uh, no, you're not thinking that. Well, I did, to be honest. So it was interesting for me to discover that this man made the claim based on the fact that RMD allegedly takes 400 to 500k lasso for movies. That's what the other, you know, so the guy's basically insinuating that what would the other upcomers now collect? Think about it. On to another story that deeply confuses the heck out of me is rapper Vector, who went on Twitter to school cultists, saying that their pledge is to fight corruption, not to kill one another, not to kill one another. While like, what up, what up? First of all, Vector, do you have? How, wait, first of all, how do you know what the pledge is? How do you know that somebody's killing someone? Are you a cultist? What kind are you? Like, honestly, I could go on. A Nollywood actor is accusing Richard Mofe Damijo um, of being part of the people who killed Nollywood. According to him, he said, I loved this man when I was growing up and as a kid, but after joining Nollywood and standing up for what was right in Nollywood, I found out that this man was among the architects who killed Nollywood. RMD was collecting 250k to 400,000 naira just to be in movies. He might say he's doing it for passion because he loves acting, but he was killing the industry with such salary when he was meant to be collecting 5 million naira per movie. If RMD collects 250k to 400k per movie, then tell me how much a lower actor will collect per movie. Yeah, so said his passion killed the industry. I don't know why he's using kill. Like, it's such a... When I first read that, I thought he... I was, I was hoping for something scandalous, mm -hmm. like, wow, you know, he's a... I don't know, some big thing, but... You have to understand that there's negotiations that happen, and if the person is also bringing 400k, I don't know how you can jump from 400k to five million naira. Like, who's actually going to pay that? If the person could, I feel like that would have been happening. Maybe. Um. Okay. So you don't think this so? is not the first time I'm hearing this kind of conversation, and the good thing is the first time I, I can't remember if I was the one who interviewed the man I'm going to mention now. It was somebody else who interviewed him, but it is Ali Baba. And if we want to be very sincere with ourselves, we will understand the work that Alibaba has done to mm -hmm. actually push the um, comedy mm -hmm. uh, industry in Nigeria to where it is right now. And in that conversation, he mentioned how he deliberately rejected a certain amount of money because he knew that if he did that, the industry would never grow. It's, it's going to become, I mean, if President. Alibaba is going to collect a 400K, why do I need to go and call somebody else that is upcoming that, and that is also good to come and um, collect the same amount? Mm -hmm. Then at the end of the day, they will be limited and probably be getting, say, 20K, 50K because an Alibaba is getting a 400K. But because to get an Alibaba now, you're talking of millions, even close to that 5 million you're mentioning, it means that they, he has created an opportunity for other people other to people also to grow eat. in that industry. And he said it was a deliberate attempt because when he was rejecting... 400k and 500k and when you call him you say you know what it's not like he's outrightly going to be rude he will now call somebody else and say you know what i don't have this time now i'm busy but this person would do a great job because he also could vouch for these people coming up in the industry that they can deliver um mm -hmm. a, a good performance and, and hold the event and it worked because the comedy this industry guy, guy before the so lockdown nice. i know everybody's affected with the lockdown right mm -hmm. now but before now i'm telling you that it, a lot it, of people are eating comfortably and living comfortably based on just comedy, hosting events and all okay. that. And that's why and they respect doing, Alibaba the in, till tomorrow. I think the comedy industry is still thriving because they are still doing online comedy and stuff you like know, that. And so people are still paying. Yeah, so okay. maybe he didn't put it right and uh, or however no, no, the guy else, put I don't know. Perfectly. But the thing is, we need Honestly, to tell ourselves the truth. And if this is true, because I don't know if, if he got his facts right. And I think that this, this RMD with, story is happening yeah. right now. Uh, that's where I was because going to. I don't know if that is what, what is happening I right this, now. I saw it as a thing of like when he was younger and 500, 400k no, he said he me. admired him when he was younger. So but when, when he, he got now into got the, into the industry... Is this a today thing? Like, well, was, we there, was, sure. there was a conversation I was having with a, an upcoming actor and he was like, um, RMD charges about a millionaire yeah. per role. Mm -hmm. per, I mean, per scene, I mean. Okay. <laughs> so, so for every he time okay. he goes on set, you're giving him like 500k, 400k. So that's what this guy is saying. But I don't want to believe that RMD will travel to Ghana 
to go and shoot a movie or travel to Tanzania or wherever mm -hmm. to go and shoot a movie and you would offer him 400k. Yeah, so K. I think that I, is I not like passion. the angle you That's brought. So I think yeah. it is not something that is happening now because if mm. it's happening now, then there will be a problem. There will be and a serious And I think even after two years, to stay in his lifestyle. I doubt mm -hmm. that he's collecting 500k for a movie. Yeah, because for as a two years ago, that was me. I saw it with. like a back then thing. thing. And because even back then, the price. I don't think you can compare Libaba and RMD. What do you mean? In the sense of like them being pioneers of the industry i don't know i feel like growing up i didn't see rmd as much i saw other people like jim ike and the huh. uh, you then, not, no, no, no you are not watching movies you're not watching or, or maybe, no, or or maybe not your generation movies. yeah because I, wow. I wouldn't have said yeah, yeah you're I genuinely our generations are very different. <laughs> yeah. i wouldn't have seen i've no, called no, no. rmd a pioneer like i would have called alibaba a pioneer in the comedy industry like i wouldn't what have. Uh, well you might not call Nigerian rapper Vector has dedicated um, a tweet to enlighten cultists on their role in the society. He said, quote, if you, if you, if you be cultist and your orientation is to kill another man just because he be cultist, then you are a fool. You pledge yourself to fighting against corrupt, corrupt men who have influenced authority to their will. I repeat, if your motive, okay, this pigeon is difficult, no, but basically, if your motive is um, killing or attacking like you, people and all, uh, so basically, saying that's not co what courtism is about. Like, courtism is about fighting. It's quite for stupid, the... isn't it? Very like, stupid, like very because stupid. you're encouraging cultism. I yeah. don't even know how you know their pledge if well, you're not cultist you. yourself. I don't think he's being stupid because we've had people actually come to talk about. Or I mean, I've had conversations with people where they try to explain um, where cultism really started. Wally well, Shinka why... started is one of the founders of the pirates. Yeah. So why they started, what they started, and how it has been hijacked by people who just wants to be miscreants in the society and all. So uh, mm. I get where he's coming from. And like you said, for him to come out to be saying this, it's possible It's possible he's part of them and understands um, the, the pledge and understands that there are people, there are elements in their midst that is just trying to paint Okay, I, I mean, the, I well. knew that that, that that angle was going to come up in conversation. But mm -hmm. for me, I still think like it's highly stupid. Not because it's encouraging it, but because there is very tiny, tiny, tiny percentage of people on Twitter that have that um, idea in mind when you talk about cultism in Nigeria as like bare yeah, minimum as in like on the streets yeah. it is about violence so mm. when you talk like that you have to add extra words to say I mean this type of courtesy I mean this type of courtesy but to come out acting naive that you don't know the you don't know what the reality is like put it in context the people that you're talking to I went and saw the thread now it was the same vibe nobody saying oh yeah when straight it's not that it's you know street stuff is a yeah it's um blue and red and i don't know the yellow yellow and what's, it's and what's the basis so of what, this tweet what are, you, are yeah. you having a, a beef with a rival gang or something because i don't understand where this tweet so came are you from. saying that vector <laughs> that vector is a vector cannot so mm. this is hypothetically speaking now we don't know if he's a courtist mm. so let's say if he's a courtist he cannot put in effort to try to sanitize the movement when and he maybe got take into it the back cult, was to what it used to be. Are you saying he doesn't have that right? Ah, if it when just he was, it when he on got the into head. the cult, was, was it sanitized? sanitized? That is, he in went his own, in like, for the dirty you, game. How do you know he went in for the dirty because game? Because that has never been sanitized. It has never it has been... From day one. From his day one. From how his do you day know? one. How old is, how old is Victor? How old is he? How do you know... Wait, hold on. This is where I'm coming from. Because even at the fact that this is happening now, I'm sorry, I know people that are in some frats, maybe not in this country, okay. that are actually... In fact, if they're in trouble or if they want to get a job or they want to get a connection, the fact that they're part of that group mm. is already an edge for them. It's just for them to pick up a phone and mm. speak to this person. And you don't see them gathering yes, at midnight they're, they're, they're or doing elite, anything to kill they're, anybody. They're mm. You know, so you cannot take away the the good side of the fraternity. And it's possible that Vector for himself, if he is part of a fraternity or a cult or whatever they like to call it, you cannot say he got into that place because he was told if you get there, uh, you kill people. I mean, not everybody got into that because but of that mindset. But he's clearly having a killing problem, so it's not like a if no... That is what I'm saying. You cannot bash him for trying to speak up, to try to sanitize that Well, movement. maybe That's I would I'm understand saying. The way he spoke up and what he said with his words maybe. don't don't really match with maybe that I would vibe. This vibe this. is very different from what I got on that table, saying that, hey, you are... Mm, 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 mm. Maybe I understand this tweet if he has, like, a background story to share about mm -hmm. it. Like, he should okay, say more. Yeah, he should 
you should tell us more, but this out of the blue is like, oh, I'm a cultist. I'm having beef with these people. They want to kill me. I want to kill them. And eh, I'm thinking, don't no, kill them. Do if you are killing them, people, then you're a fool. Right? Then you're getting it wrong. Uh, you're yeah. getting it wrong. Yeah, you're, you're missing the point. Like, what is the point? Who are you talking to? Okay. Language so is power. Better, like, say no to cultism, they, they need please. you to explain better and tell them about your cult, <laughs> if you're part of a cult. <laughs> This is my least favorite part of the show because it is where we wrap up. But if you did enjoy these topics as much as I did, you can catch us on all our episodes that you have missed of Tea Time on our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, catch the Tea Time crew live on Monday to Friday at 10.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. on DSTV channel 408 across Africa. Once again, my name is Ifeo Mai. Adios.